Hello there, I'm Black Bright, and I wanted to um, talk, aim, well, I aim this video at the older generation, at the Windrush generation, because they're the ones who I feel may not know whether or not they could be deported, and there is nothing worse than having that over your head. Some of the Windrush generation may think that because they don't have all the paperwork, they're sitting at home worrying and getting themselves stressed out. But the Windrush scheme is open and I just wanted to read to you um, those people who cannot get deported, whether or not you have paperwork. There's a task force out there that can help you obtain the information you need because there was at one point there was that you needed a piece of paper for every year you were in the country. That is not the case now because they realize that is an impossible task. So if I read out um, th these couple of paragraphs, I'm hoping that it will put some people's minds at rest. Or if you have family members who are in the Windrush generation who you know are a bit concerned about their situation, you can refer them to this video or you can relay the information to them. Um, the information has been taken from the Windrush scheme guidance. So, um, <clears throat> and it is an authentic document produced by the Home Office so it's not something that's been randomly taken out of the air. So basically it says, Section 7 of the Immigration Act 1971 provides an exemption for deportation for those Commonwealth citizens who were ordinarily resident in the UK when the Act came into force provided they were ordinarily resident in the UK for at least five years before the decision to make a deportation order is made. Now, this is for those who may already have a deportation order against them, but provided they were in the UK when this Immigration Act came into force, which it's dated 1971. It was probably made a few years before, but I think it's the same one that came out in 1973. So provided they were in the country before 1973 and ordinarily resident, that means that they had a GP, they've got a dentist, um, they've been go, they've got, they've been to, in the school system and that kind of thing. It just means that, you know, in order to be ordinarily resident, only people who are legal can do that. And by virtue of being a Windrush immigrant or a Commonwealth citizen, which everyone, whichever term you prefer to use, um, it does mean that you were legally in the country, even though you didn't have the documentation to prove it. Provided, of course, you didn't come into the country for a visit and you've got a visitor's visa that you've overstayed. That's totally different. But there are, there are some people that came over here with the intention to live here. And so they have, an, they have something stamped in their passport. I don't know if they had indefinite leave to remain stamped in their passport back then. I don't know what the process was because it's a long time ago. But providing they don't have any limitations that show that they were just coming for a visit, um, then, you know, they qualify under this. Um, then it goes on to say, oh, and, and it says for at least five years before the decision to make the deportation is made. So that means that suppose you've been served with a deportation order and provided you was in the country in from 1971 and also you were in the country five years before you were served with a deportation order, although I don't understand how that works. How can that work? Because they're not going to wait five years for you to be deported, are they? Ah, let me read it again. Section 7. See, it's just as confusing for me as it can be confusing for anyone else. Section 7 of the Immigration Act 1971 provides an exemption from deportation. That means you're not allowed to be deported 
for those Commonwealth citizens who were ordinarily resident, I've explained what that means, in the UK when the Act came into force, I've explained that, provided they were ordinarily resident in the UK for at least five years before the decision to make a deportation order is made. Before the decision to make a deportation is made. I guess that would mean that suppose you were served with a deportation order tomorrow. So providing you've been in the country for five years prior to receiving that deportation order. That's how I interpret that. OK, so. Yeah, I hope that's clear. I'm, I mean, I know it's a bit double Dutch, but I hope it's clear. Then it says those who can establish that they meet this exemption will not be liable to deportation and will not be deported. As set out in Section 38 of the Immigration Act 1971, the onus is on the applicant, so it is on the Windrush applicant, um, to assert that they are entitled to rely on the exemption in Section 7 and prove this to be the case. So basically, I mean, while they're saying all of this, you will need some. And to be honest, um, that generation of people were often working. So you will have national insurance stamps. This is one of those situations where national insurance stamps are useful to show that you were working in in revenue, your P60. Back then, I mean, we were all meant to keep that, your P60s. Um, what else? Like your your GP, you know, if you can remember your GP from back then and you have their address, mind you, they can always track your records way back um, from systems now. So if you had a GP, a dentist, um, school records, school books, I mean, you're still going to have some proof, of course, but it won't have to be consistent every year like they was saying you needed four pieces of paper for every year that you were in the country. They've squashed that. And then the task force, this task force, I'm going to give you their number in a minute. They will help you to build the picture to prove that you were in the country. And it's not a situation where some of you can think you can jump on the bandwagon when you weren't really here and think you can cite a couple of things and, oh, you went to this and you've got nothing to prove it. It's not for that situation. It's for genuine Windrush sorry, applicants who were here prior to 1973 and who just are so concerned that they don't have the paperwork, but they were genuinely here. They weren't here for... Um, six months and then they was out of the country for a couple of years. They were here continuously for that period of time. Of course, you can go on holidays, but you know, it's like you, you, it's every six years or 540 days they allow you over a five year period or a 10 year period, um, whatever the criteria is. But what it just means is that you weren't living in two places and can prove that you were here. Um, in such cases, um, anyone with a right of abode is not liable to deportation. So these Windrush applicants did automatically have a right of abode. That means you had a right to live in the UK. Now, there is a bit of um, dispute with that term right, because in certain cases, you know, if you want to be pedantic, if you want to be picky, they're saying that no um, foreign national has a right, in quotes. They're entitled, they can, well, they can access these um, services and they can access the country, but they don't ordinarily have a right. So there is some kind of dispute. But for the purpose of this, 1973, they did have a right. The new foreigners after 1988, they don't have a right. So technically, we do have a right. They can be, like I said, pedantic and go, you know, go tooth and nail at it and say, well, whatever. Um, they, they always have protected clauses in the in these rules. So, you know, you have to be careful. But we're talking about genuine applicants. 
it says where a person is the subject of a deportation order made on criminal or non-conducive grounds, they should be advised to apply to the criminal casework in immigration to the criminal casework in immigration enforcement for their deportation to be revoked. So in this situation, if you meet that criteria, you can't be um, deported even if you have a criminal conviction. Um, applicants should be directed to apply to the criminal casework at the following email address. That is the CCD intake team at home office gsi.gov.uk. I'll put that underneath. Um, yes, yeah, so. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so it does look like, you know, because they were saying if you're a criminal, you can be deported. According to this, you know, if you're a Windrush applicant, even if you've committed a crime, you cannot do be deported, providing you prove that you were in the country all that, you know, for that period of time. Um, commit. Oh, yeah. Commitments have been made to Parliament that no information brought forward by an applicant to the task force should be passed on to the immigration enforcement. You must not refer a case to the criminal casework if an applicant has serious criminality. So basically, this um, any information you give to the task force is they have a commitment not to report to immigration. Uh, even if you've got a criminal offence, they're not allowed to um, give your information to anyone else, to the immigration forces. So I think they probably bound to confidentiality, like solicitors and lawyers. Um, you can, if you feel comfortable with that, if you're willing to take their word for that, um, you can go ahead and see what you can do. I just wanted to give you... Um, I saw a telephone number here somewhere. Um, hold on one sec. Such a bloody big document. You wouldn't believe it. Anyway, okay. This is another email address. And there's a telephone number. A free telephone number this time. Which makes a change. Um, 0800 678 um, this is a dedicated Windrush task force um, team and they're open Mondays to Saturdays between 9am and 5pm or on Sunday between 10am and 4pm. I haven't seen any um, thing that says there's a deadline on here. So I assume it's open um, as long as you're a Windrush and you can approve it. Um, even people who have, who have been sent abroad can apply under this scheme. Um, the email address for that is commonwealthtaskforce at homeoffice.gsi.gov.uk. And I'll also put that underneath so you can write to them. Um, you can, if you don't feel comfortable emailing, you can go straight to the Windrush, Windrush scheme on www.gov.uk. That's G for golf, O for Oscar, V for Victor, dot UK. Yeah, so you can get the Windrush screen from them. So yeah, it does, it does make it pretty clear that you can't be deported. And even if you've got a criminal conviction, so for those of you who have been terrified or who have been made to feel as though you can be deported, providing you are in the Windrush generation and you have at least some documentation to prove it. And I think your best bet is your NH, your national insurance stamps and the fact that you were working. And that generation, which is my generation, we used to work. I mean, I started working when I was 16. Anyway. So let's see how that goes. And I hope you found this useful. That's all for now. Bye bye.